I asked to speak to you people and all you do is talk, talk, talk. You guys need to be quiet because right now we're making history. We've got the PCW Ignition Champion and we've got the Riot City Wrestling Champion standing in the same ring. You know, the thing about Nate Cross that reminds me of him is Davy Green. And we all know what happened to Davy Green last show, don't we? We know exactly what happened to Davy Green. The thing about Davy Green is just like you, he's a loser. And speaking of losers, look at what this is wearing tonight. When I said wear something nice, I did not expect that. You have disappointed me. The champ champ is disappointed. And now you're gonna make it up to the champ champ. You're gonna get down on your knees and you're gonna kiss my feet. Oh, come down, baby, and kiss the champ champ's feet. You call yourself the damn champ. But there is no way a champion would treat a lady like that. You called her a loser? Then what does that make you? Nick, you ain't the champ champ. You're the bitch bitch. Well, what an interesting way to start this match up. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it's always Nick's chick that is disappointed with him. I'm pretty sure. I, I yeah. think we're all disappointed with Nick Armstrong. He's a loser. Oh, lose those press there. Massive move there from Nate Cross. This young man is just 20 years old and already, after five years in the game, the holder of the prestigious PCW Ignition Championship. It's interesting, Sean. Uh, shh. He's signaling for one more. He wants to give the champ champ one more chop. Use it to my ears. It's interesting, Sean. I've been doing some research, you know, over uh, the past six months uh, of the talent that's in this country and you know, who can come over to RCW and stuff like that. I've noticed that Nate Cross is the master of the Blue Thunder Bomb, Ooh. just like Nick Armstrong is. Dueling Blue Thunder Bombs, no. wouldn't that be a sight that tonight? That would be a sight. Look at, look, look, you and I are both married to incredibly beautiful women. We, we are. We are very fortunate to have them choose us to share out their lives with. What the hell is Armstrong doing treating that young lady like that? Well, for one thing, he's immature. Um, he doesn't know how to uh, treat a lady. And it's also, I think, uh, that's the thing. He degrades her that much that we don't even know her name. Yeah. He, she is only known as Nick's Chick. And Do you know that's I, what it says on her manager's license here in RCW? Nick's Chick. I think, uh, hey, Nick's Chick, slap him across the face. You deserve better. Amen slap the blonde out of his hair. <laughs> we all know you diet. Armstrong here trying to go for a peace breaking deal here. 
trying to uh, say he wants to shake hands with Nate Cross. Going 4 4 at Nate Cross. Big right hands from Nate Cross. Armstrong reversing that whip there, going down. Big sunset flip there by Nate Cross. One, two, only a two count. Was he, was he going for it? Was he going for a blue thunder bomb there? Was then. Armstrong, of course, knows how to block that big, move. Uh, big hard elbows there by Nick Armstrong. What a beautiful float through there. Spinning in Siguru, right to the, to the face of the champ champ. Nate Cross going for a springboard here. Going for a big oh, fly elbow. He's taking the champ champ down. Going for that three. One, two. Oh. I tell you what, Luke Santa Maria, I think Armstrong's going to have to be grateful that this isn't a title match. Otherwise, we might have seen an ignition RCW unification. Ooh. We could, have, could see an upset here. It's, un, it's unfortunate that the title is not on the line here because... You would think a victory here would put Cross in the hot seat for a title shot. Yep. Oh, come on. Come on, that's what happened the other month. That's exactly what happened. Nick's chick taking a super kick from David Green. Look at that. Cheap shot to the back there by Nick Armstrong. Armstrong using that poor young woman as a prop, as a human shield. And look at the look on her face. She, she doesn't want to be out here. It, it, I think it's funny that he walks out, the crowd boom, and then she walks out and the crowd goes crazy just for any. The he crowd doesn't has like taste. That. He doesn't like that. He likes the spotlight all on him. It's something to be said about small little men with tall blondes, you know? It's, a, it's one of those tropes, almost a, a, you know, a, a stereotype. I got nothing. I got, I got nothing. I think Nick, Nick needs to, to really focus on Nate Cross here because he's an unknown, to, uh, unknown opponent to Nick and to the main streets of Riot City Wrestling. But he does have notable wins over the, over the Philip brothers. Who, of course, will be present at the uh, International Assault Tour this month. Of course. Part of the big tag team tournament in that show. And we've seen the Philippe brothers here in Riot City. Both have competed in tag matches and in the Riot City Rumble. Those two boys are, are some of the most dedicated young up-and-coming wrestlers in this country I've ever seen. They've got everything. They've got the look. They've got the body, they've got the, the, the talent, the charisma, they've got the full package, the full package. And they've both been staring, left staring at the lights by Nate Cross. Big, hard back elbow cut off there by Nick Armstrong. And they're only a two count on that. Luke, how hard is it to prepare? You said a minute ago about an unknown opponent. I suppose you can watch all the tape in the world, but that probably doesn't help, does it? it you, can, you can prepare yourself as much as you can, but the thing is, you can watch all this tape and old footage, but it's old footage. Who knows what your opponent has learned since that last match? You know, so they can always surprise you coming out with something new and big. Big boot to the face. Hard clotheslines. Oh. There it is! Blue Thunder Bomb! Only a two count on that exchange. And Nate Cross can't believe it. He thought he definitely thought he had that three count there, which, you know, like you said, Sean, a win over Nick Armstrong could definitely put him right at the top of that number one contender spot for that, that title. We may not like his attitude. Going there for the DC. Nick Armstrong, Armstrong turning it into a sharpshooter. Sharp This, this brings back memories. Look how low he is. He has that sinked in tight. But the lower he gets, the more pressure it puts on that lower back. And, and as you can see, Necros, he, he's crawling for, the, for that bottom rope to try and break it up. He's, he's nearly got it. And he's just got to... Fingertips just, away. He's just got to try and push through that pain that little bit more. And, oh, hey! I didn't see it. She pushed the rope towards him. That was wonderful. That, 
That Good restores on you. you. That restores your faith in Good humanity. On you. I had, so, someone was in my way. I couldn't see. What is he doing? Slap him. Here it comes. Like I was saying before, we may not like his attitude, but he is our champion for a reason. He is tough as hell. That is easy. You, know, you just gotta, in situations like these, you, you have to dig down deep. And we know what Cross wants. He wants to hit the DC, that ripcord code breaker type manoeuvre. He's signaling for it, the DC. It's this coming. It's won him championships. Oh, oh my God! Damn it. That damn cutter. Oh, uh, that's it. That's it. Residents of Riot City, your winner, RCW champion, Nick Armstrong.